Greetings Earth enthusiasts. If you ever wondered about the incredible perspectives our planet has to offer from high above you in the right place. I am Dr. Cloud Kutsi and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this captivating journey into the world of remote sensing. Welcome. And please remember to like, subscribe to and share this video. Thank you. In the previous video tutorial, we generated, or we tried anyway, um, and I think we succeeded to a large degree, to develop or to generate our own index to identify and present uh, urban build-up areas, um, which is the one that's currently on the screen. So that is something that we generated by ourselves by using existing. So we didn't use um, new indexes per se, because the one, uh, this particular image is generated by using existing or predetermined indices. So we use those two indexes, and I, in the video tutorial, I explained my reason for doing that. You know, um, short, use the benefits, eliminate the weaknesses. Combine the two, and that hopefully should give us a um, image that is better than the individual images that it consists of. That's the basic argument that we've put forward here. And then we said, okay, well, it seems like there's promise, um, sort of presents it quite well. We're quite chuffed about it, quite happy about it. But as I said, um, this is obviously for summertime, which, you know, is this area is um, very, very dry in summer. It is sandy in summer. So therefore we will have a lot of bare soil, which is the primary concern that we're dealing with. So we said, okay, let's maybe, and that's what I concluded in the previous video tutorial, is to say, let's try this in winter and see what that looks like. So what I've done is I've just basically copied and pasted the whole thing, just simply like that. I copied it, <coughs> sorry, and I created a new platform, new code editor, and I just pasted it in there. Uh, a new one, I called it Sentinel Tut 1.1. So I've got Sentinel Tut 1, which is summer, and then Sentinel Tut 101, which is winter. And I just pasted it in. And then remember to load your uh, region of interest and make sure it is referenced correctly. It's called ROY because that's the reference that we're using within our script, within our code. Because it will initially just say variable. Okay, It will initially label it automatically as um, variable and you're going to get an error there so just change it to Roy and then you simply just run it you simply just run it okay and that's what I get and this is the winter one this is how it looks in winter okay so this is summer I'm just going to make it a bit bigger let's see if I can yeah so that is winter ah, summer that's my image in summer and that is my Im image in winter. Now you can see there is some um, areas here that is red that shouldn't be red. There's some areas in this winter. This is winter 1.1. Okay, so, sorry, before I go there, let's just make sure I've changed my dates. Okay, do the sixth month to, and to the ninth month. Um, the sixth month, which is June, January, February, March, April, May, June which is June, July, August, September. That's the three, that's height of winter and beginning of um, spring, which is very green. Okay, so where the summer period I uh, put in, just to confirm the dates, is January to March. That's um, um, summer. In winter, I've got June to September. Okay, so that's the only difference I made. I changed the dates. Okay, I changed. That's the only difference. And then I just click run. So that is my difference. So I go into summer. Um, that, oops, sorry. Ah, come on. That is my summer image, and that's my winter image. Now, sorry, I'm just waiting for the summer image to load. Let's go to my build-up area. There it is. I divide. Let's go, let's, let's just make sure we're in the same places. 
uh, that we can compare them, contrast them. Um, so let's quickly just go to the same place. Uh, double eyes, I don't want to look at them. Well, you can compare all of them now, obviously, but I'm just going to compare the one that we've calculated here. Okay, so there we go. We are in the same space. Uh, build up area is the two indexes divided, the two indexes divided, uh, rename clipped, and uh, rename and clipped. Okay, now you've got the two images. It actually looks like the winter image is now worse than the summer image in that the winter image includes lots more areas that's red, meaning urban areas or um, uh, build up areas. However, what we what we fail to understand, what is important to understand is that the winter may have different visualization parameters. Because obviously winter would the, the sentinel image, the band um, spectral images, the spectral signatures in winter will be very different to the band spectral images in summer for a specific location. Because in summer there could be bare soil, now in winter it's lush green. So obviously um, the spectral signatures of the bare soils of the locations would be very different except obviously for where there's a building a building the spectral signatures should be roughly the same we can go and have a look at it now but what we now need to understand is our visualization parameters and this is not just for this particular um, uh, image but for all of them we will have to redo all the visualization parameters so for example so for example the visualization parameters for my build-up area for this one, the minimum and maximum is 1.2 and 2.6. And that's what we put in here, 1 and 2.7, which is the 1 and the 2.6. But if we go into our visualization parameters for the winter, you'll see quite a difference. The minimum is roughly the same. You'll see it's 1.22 versus 1.15. So you'll see that's roughly the same, um, but you'll. See, but the biggest difference lies within the maximum. You can see the maximum value is four, where the maximum value here is two. So there's a fundamental big difference, almost a double. Not in the minimum. The minimum values are roughly the same. However, the maximum values are very different, and therefore we have to adjust the visualization parameters to to present it in a more equal fashion okay so i'm going to change that to 4.3 i'm going to change it to 4.3 so that it captures the visualization minimum and maximum values proper um, like we've done here so let's rerun it again and let's see now what that image looks like okay so let's call it up Let's see what that image looks like, if it now looks a little bit better. Remember, this is the summer image, meaning lots of bare soil. Okay, and that's our minimum and maximum values within our the visualization parameters determined by our um, minimum, minimum, minimum and maximum script. Okay, so let's just wait until this thing eventually starts up. There we go. You can see the difference. Okay, now again, we will have to play around with the visualization parameters because you'll see now because um, that's 4.3, the bins are bigger. So um, we most probably will have to readjust these bins. I'm going to play around with the visualization parameters because you'll see it's blue. You see this the, this uh, area here. Let me just drill into it. This area here, which is uh, uh, urban areas within my summer, is properly red. You can see that. Here it is blue. So we'll have to adapt it, which is this color here. So let's make that red. 
and then let's like that blue let's see now uh, come on uh, let's see how that looks now so it's not just changing the visualization parameters and all of a sudden you have a comparable image no you need to um, change the visualization parameters because uh, as i said the spectral uh, reflectance the spectral signatures of each location is different oops have a look now at that now this doesn't look too good huh so maybe this is not a very good indicator because you can see now it dif doesn't differentiate at all so we may have to we may have to play around with this if we if we take out the blue let's take that out and see what it looks now so now our exercise starts all over now our exercise starts all over in fact what we should do is go um, we should go index by index um, we should first go to the parent indexes or the indexes that we are using to calculate this particular index. Okay, so there we have a bit of. Okay, so that helps a bit. I would change the brown as well now. I'm going to change the brown. Okay, so it does, it's nicely indicating the. Nicely indicating the urban areas, but it's got this brownish color. So let's make that blue. Let's run it again. Sorry. Um, I was not expecting it to be that straightforward. So I was expecting it for us to, to be able to make some changes and and not just the, the date. Um, yeah, so let's have a look and see. It should happen now. Why is the blue? It's not really. It's not really presenting the blue that well. See, I, see, I want to get. Oh, this is orange. Let's change. Let's change. Let's make. Um, that let's include a um, brown let's include a brown and let's see what that looks like so now I'm just playing around with these um, the visualization parameters um, we're gonna try the <coughs> the visualization parameters using the stretching we're going to try that now now let's just first see what this looks like i've just reshaped <coughs> the oh that's not working that's just too much uh, that's not gonna work so it actually doesn't want to it just it presents the urban areas very well but look at all this um sandy areas Look at and all the sandy areas. So it doesn't want. So let's take the orange out uh, and make that yellow, and then run it again. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that looks like. Where is it now? Okay. Uh, so it's, I must, uh, I must uh, highlight it, activate it. Let's see what that looks like. We need to understand what the, yeah, that's not going to happen either. Why is it doing this? It sort of presents, keeps on presenting the images. Doesn't matter what I do. Where's the yellow now? Um, why is he doing that now? Okay, so let's, okay, so let's 
find out what is the actual value of the urban areas. Okay, so let's use that first. Let's do that first. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is the value of the of the urban areas. Okay, so it is 1.65. So it's actually quite, yeah, so 1. Point, it lies here somewhere there. 1.65. What is bare soil? Let me have a look and see what is bare soil. Let's see what that looks like. Where is bare soils? Okay, so let's have a look and see. So remember it's 1.65. Let me know, did I, did I write it down. 1.65. Let's do a bare soil here. <coughs> And see what that looks like. One point five three. So what we actually need to do is if we delete this, oops, if we take that out, let's see what that looks now. So the bare soils have a lesser value than the build-up areas. So now, as I said, we need to play around with our visual, and it lies closer to this value than to that value. So let's see what this looks like. It just, it just keeps on giving the same. What? Green, red, blue, brown, white. So I'm not sure why. Let's delete this as well. Because see, there's no... Let's delete this as well. So actually, what we need to do is we need to start all over again. Because it doesn't seem to be greatly affected with what I do. Which is highly frustrating. So in fact, what we can do is if we change the max, let's look what the image looks like now. After we've changed well, it's just starting to get there. At least we've got a bit of differentiation but it gives you brownish and I, I presume it's the combination between it's it's starting to give us some differentiation between um, the bare soils which is a brownish color and the red so it does give us some differentiation now this portable okay and there is pocket um, let me quickly go and see. Now let's try the visualization parameters, the stretching options now. Let's see. Okay, so it does. It's getting better, but I didn't think it's going to be. Okay, so now let's do that. I didn't think it's going to be. Ooh. Ooh, no, this is terrible. But this is never going to work. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's see this. Nope. That's not going to work. It's a nice picture. Nice color schemes, but it's not going to work. Not going to work. Don't even, and let's see. So none of the stretching works. Nope. That's not going to work. Nope. So none of the stretching is actually working. Nope, it's not working. So why are we busy with this? Let's make this. Let me try this. I'm going to make it 0 0.5. Then I'm going to add in here. 
make that 0 0.1 then I'm going to add in here a value there let's make it um, blue and then I'm going to do the red and now so this must be then um, let's say um, orange let's see what that looks like I'm just taking a guess I'm just playing around um, <clears throat> we're just trying our luck to see whether um, there's any way of improving the visualization um, but yeah so what we now ideally need to do is to start from the beginning and do a visualization change in visualization parameters for each and every single one you see there we go yeah there we go we now there we go it's better it's not ideal still a bit of reddish colors but it's starting to look it's starting to look a little bit more to something that we potentially can work with Okay, so let's just quickly compare the two again. They look very similar now, right? Eh? They look very similar. Visualization parameters are quite different, but the resulting image are not that dissimilar. Okay, so let's save. So there's potential. But as I said, what we ideally should do is if we go to the bolt area, okay, so which is that doesn't look too bad uh, which is the same as going remember this one is where we the benefit of this particular index is that it can differentiate quite nicely between urban build up and bare soil that's the benefit of this one so this is it during summer and this is it during winter now remember again we haven't done change the visualization parameters uh, which is still um, here it, uh, is it nope yeah here it is which is 0 0.2 and 1.7 uh, let's quickly change that 0 0.2 1.7 so if we change the visualization parameters here now it's going to be a guess which one it is um, it's brba B, yeah brba 0.14 so we're going to just make that one and then the maximum value for the brba i just want to make sure brba 2004 is three you can see it's it's uh so let's make that three point uh, let's call it make it zero let's run it again and see whether it throws the whole thing out of sync oh let's have a look and see um, okay let's have a look and see let's hope for the best come on you can do it you can do it let's have a look and see band build up area band build up area ah but it's struggling remember that was the point it's very green so in fact I, we need to most probably swap these two things again we have to go and figure out which one is it and 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 same procedures as last because we most probably will have to swap this so let's quickly just I'm just want to see if I can find just to demonstrate okay so let's go to my satellite I'm gonna look at this point here what is this point there okay so this is that little house there okay let's have a look and see okay let's try the same one here so what we want to do is we want to look at the spectral signatures let's just look have a look and see uh, and I'm gonna go satellite here as well and we're gonna go that one there okay so remember this building there so take the throw away 
that's the building there and that's how it look there okay so that's and see this is summer you can see the big difference same thing let's take this away ah come on let's take this away see same thing same building and we're gonna put this over you can see the difference that's summer and that's winter adjusted okay so now let's try to now it's gonna be we need to see if we can get inspector value let's say somewhere in the middle there Doop. let's use that inspector and let's go to this one and also go inspector plus minus and there we go okay so now we want to do is to see how the spectral signatures either correspond or differ so that's to sentinel two of this is summer and this is winter so band one is 120 band one is 143 now it could be because i'm not exactly 100 percent in the same space but if you look at it the spectral signatures looks very similar with band eight being the highest band eight being the highest followed by band four followed by band four lowest being band one followed by band two one followed by and two so the spectral signatures looks very very similar let's look at the difference in spectral signatures again very very similar very very similar okay so let's have a look and see in our band build area the value is one let's have a look and see here the value is 1.1 the value is one so that i almost identical in terms of um the 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 the, the, the spectral of the the, the um, uh, band ratio for build up area index value is plus minus the same which lies to the upper end of the max which lies to the upper end of them you see here the upper end of the max is three and that's where it's a little bit different where here the red is close to the upper limit but now let's do a bare soil okay so let's so we can see that the build up should be fairly similar let's look at bare soil and i'm going to look at an area fairly let's say this one that is now summer and let's look at this one okay and remember it's somewhere in the corner that one that is now winter okay so remember the satellite image so it's the same but if we display the two if we display the two sentinel images itself you'll see they will look very very different okay so let's just wait okay so this is the sentinel image in summer this is a sentinel image in winter you can see it's fundamentally different they are fundamentally different so if we look at the spectral signatures you see the spectral signatures are fundamentally different you can see that spectral signature meaning the value of the each band this is summer and this is winter and you can see the difference between the two again is fundamentally different so although and this is logical in terms of my build up um my build up uh, uh, urban areas the spectral signals are very similar because a building is a building is a building is a building it looks very similar during winter than summer so that could it cannot be much of a difference <coughs> but between winter and summer for the for the bare soils there's a big difference so maybe this is again something where we can then use is to say um, identify let's subtract the two the winter image and the summer image as i get back to and then there where there's been very little change that's most probably that's most probably urban areas and where there's a lot of change that's most probably not areas bare soils changing to 
less vegetation or less, uh, 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 less vegetation is changing to bare soil. So that could now be another way of detecting urban areas is by comparing the winter image with the summer image and, and then subtract the two images because we assume that where there's uh, very little change is where there is urban areas. But now let's, and yeah, so that's something that, can, that one can potentially also also look at okay that's something that we can potentially also look at but that's a, a, a for another bit but you can see that if we change it to winter okay let's go up, let's decrease just to show you the difference in the in the two sentinel images they are vastly different for my region of interest between the winter and the summer they are significantly Different. So I'm going to go just to map again so that we don't include the. I'm just going to go to map. To map. And why are you. You can see why are you not clipping? It should be clipping. Why is it not clipping? Why is it not clipping? Clip tool, map clip to column. Clip to column. So why is it not clipping? You know, you can see the difference. They are vastly, vastly different. In winter, remember that's all part of our region. I'm not sure why it's not clipping. Um, it's a Roy. And there's also, it's not clipping at all. And I don't know why it's not clipping. Um, it's supposed to clip. Let's run it. Let's both run both of them again. See what if if it clips or not. And uh, let's activate the sentinel. Let's activate the sentinel. It doesn't clip. That's very interesting. Why does not it clip? It says there it must clip. Oh, it's now what happened here? Why is there no clipping tool there? Run, run, save, and save. Hey, we forgot to put the, I don't know why. But you can see, if you, oh, you can't see it yet, sorry, you will see there's fundamental differences. If we now activate our Landsat image, you can see the fundamental difference. That's my summer image, and that's my winter image. You can definitely see the differences. Much less bare swell. So therefore, um indexes that um, may be inappropriate to use in the winter or in the summer can now become more relevant to use who knows let's have a look and see build up areas build up areas there's my two build up areas which has been calculated um, using the two um, underlying indexes um, you can see the uh, both has, I think, both has potential. They're not by any means perfect. And um, we can still play around with it. But it just is showing you that um, if it works for one, if it works for summer, it doesn't automatically imply that it will, will work for winter and vice versa because the spectral signatures are so fundamentally different that it's almost something totally new and therefore you can't just use it to but anyway we can go on and on and on just to show you the difference between summer and winter um, and then if you use it please just be make sure that you change the visualization parameters etc you cannot assume that 
summer will be exactly the same as winter. And therefore, if you use it in different locations, it will also be different again. Because again, the signature, spectral signatures of bare soil, let's say in another location, would be very different to the signature of bare soils in this particular location. So it's that's why the spectral signatures are so, so, so important. And that's why you need to have understanding of the spectral signatures. Because everything that you present to your is based on those spectral signatures. So you need to understand the spectral signatures. You need to understand that. And that's going to be your clue, how you're going to be able to interpret, identify and interpret whatever features you want to present at, uh, uh, you know, uh, and stuff. So the presentation becomes important, but first you must identify it. And the identification relies on your understanding spectral signatures. Anyway. Thank you um, for joining me. Uh, I trust you are still uh, still with me, still enjoying the trip uh, into remote sensing. The adventure is still ongoing. Um, uh, and uh, please stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Subscription, please. I need you to subscribe. Please, boys and girls. We need to, to run up that subscription number. And... Uh, I'll see you on the other side.